Trace Gallagher is live with where things stand right now. Trace, any, any chance Democrats take the Senate? Well, Republicans now control the Senate, as we know, 54-46. Democrats need five seats to regain control. Here's the thing. 34 seats are up for re-election, but 24 of those seats, Shep, are Republican. Only 10 are Democrat, and that meant it was always going to be kind of an uphill battle for Republicans to defend those seats and keep the Senate. But if you look at the national scorecard, man, it is a dead heat. The Fox News Decision Desk has 47 Democrats with a solid hold on seats and 47 Republicans with five toss-up states. We're talking Nevada, Pennsylvania, New Hampshire, North Carolina, and Missouri. That leaves Indiana and the seat of retiring GOP Senator Dan Coats. It was supposed to be an easy win for Republican Congressman Todd Young to move up and hold that seat until former Democratic Senator Evan Bayh got into the race. And because of Bayh's influence, Indiana was considered a toss-up. But now the decision desk says it leans Republican, and that is huge because it could decide who ultimately controls the Senate, Chip. Yep. Any word on the House of Representatives, Trace? Well, if you look at the polls and you listen to the pundits, it appears the Democrats will pick up more seats than they originally thought. But, but look, there's no indication of a dramatic shift. In fact, a recent Wall Street Journal NBC News poll shows that despite Trump's numbers dipping, Republicans are not abandoning ship. When asked which party they want to control Congress after the election, 46% favored Democrats, 44% Republicans. Now, if you go back 10 years, that very same poll in 2006, had Democrats favored by 11 points, and in that election, the Dems picked up 30 seats in the House. Today, the Democrats need 30 seats to re regain control of the House, but experts say it appears the Dems will pick up somewhere between 10, 15, maybe 18 seats. So for the GOP, the House right now appears very safe. Shep. All right. Trace Gallagher live for us. Trace, thank you.